Hi Chatwalks out there, I hope you've all had a great day today. Today in this video I'm going to be telling you guys about what I got to on my Tuesday. So today I was at college, I got ready for the day ahead and I had some toast and a cup of tea and I got myself ready for college. My younger sister went into college, her mate picked her up and they went off to college. My younger brother was ill today because he had a really bad migraine so he didn't go in today. And my dad was at work and so was my older sister and my older brother is in uni. And my younger brother's girlfriend went off. She offered me a lift but I go in later than she does. So I didn't get a lift with her until I got the bus to college. I said goodbye to my mum and locked up and made my way to the bus stop. I waited for the bus and the bus took ages to get here. It finally arrived and I got on and listened to my music off my phone on the way to college. I got to college and went to the factory and I sat and chatted with my mates while we waited to go off to lessons just before lessons started. And then went off to lessons and we went in and we discussed about how our workplace had been and about the snow and stuff and about how our weekends had been and just had a nice catch up with the class about how we were all doing. Then we did some CV work and we did about matching up what to put on a CV and what not to put on a CV and had to put them in piles. Then we had break and I went to the factory and I got a sudden and so and I wanted to do crusade and I forgot to take my lunchbox to college. What am I like? So I had a lunch and I treated a bit and called home and my dad was just home from work and I just let him know that I forgot my lunchbox. He was going off to bed and my mum's asleep because she's on her lady tights at the moment so she's been quite tired and stuff. She doesn't sleep that way anyway so it's not helping so she's just she was just resting getting some sleep that she really needed and I went back to lessons we did some more CV stuff today we just did a lot about CV stuff and we did some more group work and little like fun little CV activities then I had my lunch and my mate Alfie kindly got me some chips and a can of Sprite for my lunch have to pay him back so I'm, I'm fired out I was like don't, don't worry I will pay you back so I've jotted that down in my journal to, so that I remember for next Tuesday because I'm only in college on Tuesdays and then tomorrow I'm back at work in Pacewin. Cannot wait. I'm really hoping to get a work place on a job out of this after work place. But I keep on saying this because I really do love it there. The staff are also kind. I do a lot there. I was a bit nervous at, at the start because I thought, what if I can't do anything? What if I'm just stood on like a lemon? But I've been doing lots of building and stuff and they're really good at helping me if I'm stuck. And it's just so lovely and I know quite a few people that work there so Hopefully I should be able to get a job there and yeah, it would be really fun and I'm really looking forward to going back tomorrow. I was off on Wednesday, on Thursday and Friday I was off because of snow, so I was doing only in on Wednesday last week. And today the weather has been so nice, a lot better than yesterday evening. Yesterday evening and the day before it's just been so rainy and so dreary, but today the sun's come up and it's actually pretty chill pretty chilly no pretty warm now it was a bit chilly early on but it's warmed up a lot and I went off to the quiet room after having my lunch in the factory and I did some doodling and just sat and chatted with my mates and I had a walk around and played some games in the quiet room and messed around with my mates and then went for a bit of a walk I went to the RC and just had a walk around then made my way back to lesson and this afternoon we were over in the U-Block doing some computer work and did some CV stuff and finished off a few things that we just had to, a few loose ends we had to type off some work that we had been doing beforehand and then I had to do this little CV booklet. Then we had after we break and I went to the factory, I managed to get hold of mum and she only just got up and she sounded a lot better, she definitely needed that sleep. I just told her all about my afternoon. Almost forgot. While I was waiting to go back to lessons just before 
just after lunch had finished, I was stretching as you do, and this girl was on her phone, not watch, not watching where she was going. And I was carrying her out, and she barged into me and barged into my elbow, and it really blew her. And she said, "Excuse my language." She said, "Oh my gosh, did you see what that fucking dick just did to me?" So I turned around and said, "Excuse me," like that, and they looked like they were going to crack themselves, and they darted into the kitchen because they obviously are cooking, and Kathy, the cooking teacher. I had heard what they said and had a go at them anyway, so sucks to be done. Don't mess with me. I do not take being called any words like that lightly. How no. And yeah, it's just rude and disrespectful. They should respect me. I'm an elder of the college course. They're only in the first year, so they should have more respect than a cheeky mess. Apart from that little one and uh, the start of Arjun Bree. I was talking to my mates and I was going crazy venting because I literally was so frustrated. And apparently when we went back to the lessons, apparently they were giving me evils, but how now? They could do that whatever they want, but don't mess with me. Then we went back to lessons for the last time of the day. Today we went so fast, you know what to say. Time flies when you're having fun. And I... Finished off my CV booklet that I had to do for the lesson and knocked off the computers, packed up and got my bag and stuff and then went off to get the bus home. Got the bus home, it came super early, so I was home earlier than usual and the bus was crammed full of people who were literally all like sardines, you couldn't move and I hate it, I get a bit claustrophobic anyway so I was like oh my gosh. I'm gonna die, and I was sat right to the window, and it stank. I thought I was gonna be sick. I think someone might have let one whip, and I was like, oh my gosh. And yeah, I listened to my music on the way home. I thought I was not gonna have enough charge on my phone to be able to listen to music all the way home, but it lasted. So when I got back, I put my phone on charge, and I put my bag of stuff away, and I had some lemon curd sandwiches from my packed lunch, and the rest of my orange Lucas aid and had a cheese with cotto steak and a cup of four milk and a rice cookie square and watched today's home and neighbours. My younger sister's back from work and my younger brother's girlfriend is back from being at college. My younger sister was at college, not work. I thought she had work to leave, but that's tomorrow. And I sorted out my dolls and doll house that I'd been sorting out and moved through the dolls and doll stuff on and played with my main group doll and onto Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram and tweet about my day and watch this stuff off record and be self player and put up and catch up on, on on demand. And I watched some DVDs and listened to some season final. Did a bit of karaoke, love about sing song and listen to Shanar Train, Kyle and Rogue and listen to Arlas and Taste of Fears and some other bands. And I played with my main beat up doll and worked on my book series and new scripts of dollars for my doll show slash game and did some filming and editing of that and moved some of the dolls and dust off one and put some of the old dolls in storage and some of the new dolls on display and for tea I'm going to be having some spaghetti bolognese and I watched some classic Doctor episodes and some old soap stuff and some medical and period drama and horror and sci-fi and crime drama stuff and some talent show stuff and watched some cake making videos and some arts and craft videos and watched Escape to Country, Far Farm, Murder She Wrote, the RSS and watched some bit by three episodes and How Many Mother and Golden Girls and some other comedy stuff and I tidied my office up and I did some arts class and some illustrating and fashion designing and some colouring in and I had a really good day. It was so much fun, so busy, it went so fast and my younger brother is feeling a lot better now, he's on his Xbox at the moment and my younger sister and is downstairs in the living room with my mum and I just watching I think Stargate or stuff like that and I just watched some films up the end room off record and food tells off for my dog house and they got this massive chew bone thing that's apparently really good for dogs teeth to clean them and he'd left it out there overnight so it got a bit softer because he didn't touch it before because I think it was a bit too hard for his teeth so he's now destroyed that making a bit of a mess of the living room so we're going to have to hoover that up later on and my dad's back to work now and he's going to be back a bit later on 
and my old brother is in uni and him and his girlfriend stayed down on the weekend and we're going to be seeing them soon and I think they're coming down for the half term nearly the half term now it's fine by I'm only on this course for four or five months so I get a bit of winter, a bit of spring and a bit of summer so that's going to be good, going to get to see what it's like during each season and I cannot wait, I'm loving a work placement I always love turning up and not knowing what I'm going to do because it's always very fun and spontaneous I was like, what am I going to do next? and they always get me to do lots of different things and always keep me on my toes and just keep me busy and yeah, I'm always having so much fun I end up forgetting that it's time to go, I finish at two so my mum or dad, whenever anyone is picking me up I always end up getting out a bit late so I've got to remember to keep my phone turned on and to keep checking the time so that I don't get out too late but it's just so much fun that I forget what the time is and yeah, I hope you've all had a great day today have all had a great week so far and I shall see you soon in the new vlog coming soon. Bye!